Dear colleagues, at the old times and, and in all countries with a settled population, the small town was the main structure found object of the state. Small town held an intermediate position between the great cities, the capitals of states or large provinces within them, and rural settlements in which the bulk of the dependent population lived. So, small towns uh, was associated with the concept of the town in the mind, and minds of people. This report focuses on the small towns of medieval Russia. The main efforts of Russian archaeologists always were aimed on the study of the largest cities, such as Great Novgorod, Vladimir, Rizan, Moscow, and Moscow in English, uh, and etc. Others. But now it is clear that the understanding of medieval town, medieval town culture, urban identity is possible after studying uh, small towns only. At the historical periods, uh, at, all histori at all historical periods, small town is necessary and, and sufficient stage in the development of any town or city, even the largest. All modern and ancient megapolises in the early stage, stages of its development were small towns. Exceptions to this rule are extremely rare. It were cities that were built originally as the capitals. In today's world, it is the capital of Brazil city, Brasilia. In the Middle Ages, the capital of the Mongol Empire, city Karakarum. In antiquity, the Egypt Egyptian Alexandria. At the same time, we know many cases uh, when a large, sometimes even capital city, transformed to the small one. I can refer a number of such cities. Uh, Suzdal in Russia, you saw uh, today this city. Uh, Novogrudok in Belarus, uh, one time it is the capital of the Lithuania. Uh, Toledo in Spain, in in the past, the capital of uh, Castilia, Mistra in Greece, and many others. Uh, it should be reminded that the emergence and functioning of Russian towns differed significantly from European ones. In Western and Southern Europe, the medieval town is placed usually on the site of ancient often Roman city, and uh, the construction of new medieval town took place on the basis of mental proceeding of the millennial urbanization that dictated the idea of town and its functions. Russian has no such a base. Uh, so Russian medieval towns were the first towns across the Slavic Eastern Europe. Of course, Eastern Slavs uh, were familiar with the uh, cities of Byzantium, the Arab world, and uh, Eastern Europe, but it was the external knowledge only, because towns didn't exist in the Eastern Slavs territory up to 8th and 9th centuries in Domini. In modern Russia, in, excuse me, in medieval Russia, small towns made up the vast majority of urban settlements. In the territory of medieval Russia were located several hundred towns, 
but no more than 20 of them applied to large cities. Alone, a very small towns with uh, total square, uh, which total square was about five hectares, and the population is not more than 1,000 people. There are known uh, small towns with area reached uh, 20 hectares, and the population reached the uh, 5,000. At the same time, it is known large unfortified rural settlements which never transformed to towns. This shows that a small town in medieval Russia it is a settlement which stands out, stands out not so, so much uh, by its size but by any other characteristics. By but what characteristics? Russian scientists have tried to find the answer on this question and uh, 30 years ago have proposed several archaeological criteria. Firstly, is the presence of the state administrators in the city, in the town, and the Christian church. Second, uh, the building of uh, powerful fortification and the presence of armed forces. And third, craft production and trade. Uh, all these features are very important but separately, none of them isn't a reliable criterion. For example, uh, all handcraft productions, even such as jewelry, existed in the rural settlements. In these settlements are known churches, residences of princes, uh, princes and uh, other authorities. But a significant part of the inhabitants of Russian cities were engaged in agriculture. So many, even big cities, uh, look like uh, rural settlements. Uh, even such important uh, <coughs> criterion as the presence of fortification not always helps. In some rural areas, we have found traces of lone wooden fences. On the other hand, powerful fortifications were built on the big landlord suburban homesteads, which acquires the features bringing to Western European castles. However, the system of the castles uh, has not been widespread in Russia. <coughs> finally, the, finally mm, uh, there are non-Russian uh, large cities who had no fortification or they were so small that uh, it's failed to find their traces. It means that there is no reliable 100% criteria which would allow to separate the town and non-town village or fortified homestead. Uh, not to mention uh, the drawing clear boundaries between the big city and small town. This problem is particularly large due to the lack of writing sources mentioning specific settlement which was called town or village. The big difficulty creates the fact that a very similar of Russian small towns studied fully at least 20% of their total area. Rarely, we can use the data for five or six such towns only today. Now we know that the place of Texas and use collection uh, in Russia were located not only in the towns, they could be organized outside of any big settlement. Trading function is not characteristic 
of uh, many tons. Trading carried out, but its scope was very limited and it was mainly the food trade. The main function of Russian medieval towns was the administration. These towns relied primarily as locations for authorities and management of vast areas surrounding them. For protection of the administra administrators, armed forces and fortifications were necessary. Another obligatory attribute of a small town was the presence of Christian church uh, since at least uh, 11th century. The spread and uh, consolidation of Christianity were directly related to towns. Trade and handcraft production was secondary to the administra administrative function. Therefore, craftsmen's activity developed in small towns is relatively slowly. So, uh, the supply of administrators, military guards, and clergy of necessary products food, clothes, shoes, weapons, kitchen utensils, and other household items was carried out not only by townspeople, uh, but also by inhabitants of the villages and uh, uh, in the district of this town. And conclusions. Thus, the ratio of the different functions of Russian middle small town seems clear. Its main, uh, the main function of Russian middle small town was administration the management of people of on surrounding territory. Two another important functions were religious management and military defensive functions. All other functions have emerged from these three ones and were aimed at supply of government and church structures by products and commodities. Uh, as long as such an order existed, the town remained the town. But as he held to lose his main function, this town could quite quickly transform to village. I want to add that this conclusion applied only to Russian towns of 11th, uh, from 11th to 16th centuries, but not earlier or later. Uh, and uh, so, last my word, uh, I uh, ask you uh, if I will be glad to listen to your um, opinion about this uh, report, but if you have any questions to me, uh, please uh, ask me individually, because I have no problems with the, uh, listen, uh, the questions and understanding it. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. <laughs>